All right, so we got the squats today. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, like we got to do this slight three by five. Uh, we've already done a three by five with the same weight all the way through. So we are going to add on more weight to that last set of five. And yeah, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, we've been getting more comfortable with squats. It's not just an on and off type deal anymore. I feel a lot more alive than I did last week. And last week still was good for the squats. So I think, I think we're in a pretty good position for the squats today. And they should, I think they should feel pretty free. We'll see though. Cause I mean like, look, like we did a one set and like the, already like pumped up. So that's like a good almond, you know what I mean? Like, I'm always able to tell if like how, uh, how shit will be, dependent on um, if I have a pump after the first set or not. So because the quads are already pumped up, that tells me squat, free. So that's where it's coming from. I was just kind of smelling the smell of like, light. I'm taking these steaks out. I don't really know what purpose they serve, but I just don't trust them. I think, uh, I don't trust them, so I'm taking them out. And what I mean by I don't trust them, for some reason, when I look at them in the mirror, it just makes me feel like I'm gonna back out and the weight is gonna like, I'm gonna like back out too far and the weight's gonna hit into it. I know that's unlikely because like, no, it's so likely because the reason the weight doesn't slam into this is because this is where the bar is, you know? So it's more like, like the, the weight is going past it, you know? Um, so yeah, since this comes out, I just feel like, there's a chance that I back up too far and the weight like hits it and kind of throws me off, which wouldn't be a big deal for 135. But like, once we start getting into it, I mean, we have to go up to like 400 something for the working sets. So, um, we don't want to be walking back into that shit in the middle of like a 400 pound squat for reps. I don't think that'd be very I just remembered I haven't even put on the knee sleeves yet. So the fact that we still feel good without even needing the knee sleeves is another, it's another good omen, dude. We're gonna load up the three plates, hit that up for another warm up set, and get on the get on the knee shit. Notice how they're unlaced. That means things have not gotten serious yet. Like we look at this and we're like, dude, we don't take you seriously. Like you're a fucking joke. You're a fucking joke.
the only thing, bro, the only thing is that this like place is scarce when it comes to legit uh, fucking squat bars, right? So like today, because I could not for the life of me find a squat bar, um, and I gotta like hunt down 45s. But, so because, uh, um, I can't remember what I was going to say. I'm going to hit this 405, try to collect my thoughts, and then, like, finish what I was saying in the first place. As I've stated, we are not serious yet. Untied. No music. It's a joke. Like, I'm laughing at this guy. Like, <laughs> There's nothing more funny than a dude like this who thinks he's tough, he thinks he's big, he thinks he's heavy. And then you just get the opportunity to fucking show him, like, show him that he's like not shit. You know what I mean? Like, he's literally not shit. What I was saying is, uh, yeah, this gym is like scarce for squat bars. So for the life of me, I cannot find a squat bar. And this is like the fucking in a row. We've had to use fucking deadlift bars for squat. And it's just so annoying because I mean, like this shit is whipping at 315. So it's just like, it's like using a fucking noodle bar for squat. And it's just like awful for stabilization, dude. Like fucking literally have to pick it up. And I feel like I gotta sit there for like 30 seconds before I can walk out with it because I'm trying to like wait for the fucking whip to settle down. And then even when I walk it out, it's like fucking taking a step, the weight starts shaking its ass and every single step, it keeps shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. And then it's like, as I'm doing my squats, it's shaking its ass on top of my fucking back. And if you know anything about that, if you ever had somebody on your back shaking their ass, it doesn't like, you try squatting while that's going on. You know, kind of throws you off. Um, so all I can hope is that the legs feel good enough to have the weight feel good despite using a shitty bar for squat. It's not a shitty bar, like in general, it's a good bar. It's just a shitty bar for squat. I mean, even if you look closely, like just having it be here, you can see the bend in it. And that's like, <laughs> you don't want that when you're squatting. You want shit that is like, Solid, bro. Solid. So, this thing is not solid. We're not really gonna do that much talking. We're just gonna get straight into this shit because uh, I need to really focus on just handling the whip of the bar and just having this feel good to set us up for a good second set and set us up for a good last set where we have to add on more weight. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna like dial in. Um, I don't even know what to say. I just took off all the weight, bro. I guess, as I said in the video, I feel a lot more alive than we did yesterday. Um, wasn't the case, you know what I mean? Got fucking three for a first set of a three by five, and you're not supposed to fucking fail when you're doing percentage training. So it's just like, I'm just so fucking annoyed and pissed off, dude. I'm just gonna like, 
I try my best to calm down and just fucking dip, bro. I need to like dip, stretch, you know, and just come back tomorrow, finish out the workout week and just like, I don't know, fucking maybe cry in the dark to some sad shit or something. <laughs>